Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Oracle that is Oracle Database View. What is a view actually? A database view is a logical or virtual table based on a query. We can say view as a stored query and we can query the views just like the table. Views are, uh, views are queried just like the tables and views can be created by use of the create view command okay that incorporates the use of the select statement okay now <coughs> we will see what is the purpose of this uh, view why we need uh, we have seen this uh, uh, what is view uh, why we need a view actually normally in an organization we will be uh, executing some queries very frequently say that the monthly sales uh, calculation of the monthly sales uh, weekly uh, report uh, weekly sales etc so that at uh, that time that uh, sometimes we may delete the sql so some sqls uh, stored uh, somewhere and uh, some persons can misuse it so in order to uh, store this sql permanently uh, we can create those sql as view and store it in the database whenever we require any report or whenever we require any data we can quer query the views instead of querying the table we can query the views now we are going to see how we are going to create the uh, view. Uh, for that we are going to use the sample table EMP. Now I am selecting it. It contains around uh, 7 columns I think. Uh, I think 8 columns. Okay. Anyway, 7 or 8 uh, whatever might be. We are going to uh, select only 3 columns for creating the view. This is simple SQL I am using. Select EMP number, E name, salary from EMP and I am creating the view called EMP underscore list. It has got created. Initially, I have created and dropped. That is why it is showing dropped. Now I have created. Now it shows the EMP underscore list created. Then we will check the metadata table. See here already uh, there is one view name called view v1 is available and we have now created emp underscore list we can check the query also under the text we can see uh, that uh, query what we have written okay whenever uh, you have got you are having any doubts means you can check this uh, user underscore views after creating the view you can come and check over here whether uh, our view has got created or not okay now we will see how we are going to select the data from the view see this is the way you need to select the data from the view just type select tar from emp list only we have selected three columns that three columns will be displayed over here okay we have seen create view view name like that and this is the full syntax actually okay this is the full syntax we can use replace A replace means if the view already exists for example sometimes we may modify the query at that time there is no need to drop that view and recreate the view so what at that time what we can do is we can modify the sql and we can use that create or replace what it will do means it will replace the existing view okay create or replace means it will replace the existing view that means the sql modified sql will replace the existing sql what is force you may got one doubt you may have one doubt whether the uh, view can be created without the base table we are creating the view on the base table 
whether the view can be created without the base table yes we can create the view without the base table by using this force option we will see it now This is another uh, list of tables available uh, EMP, EMP retired, HR employees, CART, EMP like that uh, I am going to use department Department is the table so far we have not created For explaining this force view I am going to use the table that is not available Ok, we will try that now See, that view 2 has got created. That means without the base table we can create the view. Okay. We are not having the base table department. Still we are able to create the view. And the check option, uh, read only, constraint. These things you can try yourself. Uh, read only means nothing. Uh, the view can be, we can use only the select statement. If you want to do the insert updation or deletion it is not possible with the read only view ok this is the way you should select select star from view name and the explanation has been given for example if we attempt to create the view that is already exits means it will show the error as name is already used by an existing object already I told about the replace option it is used to create a view that already exits ok force also I have shown read only option means read only we cannot do the updation or deletion and the check option constraint these are all the things uh, uh, we are not going to use very often but still it is useful Maybe you can uh, see that constraint clause is used in conjunction with the check option we cannot use the constraint separately it is it should be used along with the uh, check option ok actually view does not store any data the result is only temporarily stored ok we are uh, going to see how the data is getting inserted you will see now yeah actually we are Whenever we insert the data in the view, it will, it will be inserted in the base table. we have inserted on uh, that value into the EMP list that is view uh, let we will see check in the that is base table see I have inserted the EMP number 13 Kalyan and then salary 900 it has got inserted now we, we, we can delete the same record by using the delete then it will be deleted from the underlying table not from the that means it, it will be deleted from the base table itself so whenever we delete the data from the view it is not uh, like that it, uh, that data is not stored physically in the view so it is getting deleted from the base table so this is the these are all the simple things about the view and if you want to know about uh, the types of view and uh, 
materialist view you can go through this oracle manual okay thanks maybe we will see in the next topic